Hey guys, welcome back to the final. Welcome back to the final episode. And welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper. In the last episode, we gotten halfway through Clockwork's shit. In this episode, we're gonna finish this shit. And I don't know why I used shit. It just didn't sound right for some reason. Um, I love that I don't use any blue auras for this whole level. God damn it! This is how the whole episode's gonna be, isn't it? Whole fail montage of this level. But no, like, they don't show any blue auras if you guys haven't noticed that yet. I'm just gonna do this part in fast motion. And like I've said, think everything moves in fast motion, including timers and this thing's sinking. This is moving very fast. Come on! What am I doing wrong? Is my joystick bad or something? Or my circle button most is what's bad. I, I, everything's working except my joystick, like circle button for some reason. Or is I'm trying to hold the triangle button down while I press the circle button. And I don't know about you guys, but I hold controllers weird. I, I never noticed this until I looked down at my hands and I realized it. I look, I hold controllers weird. Like. I'm dead serious. I use my... What the hell just happened? I use my uh, index finger to hold the triangle button down. And it's actually like curled around. It's, it's, I can't even describe how I do this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not human. And sometimes I push my thumb up like normal people do. But I find it easier to uh, use my index finger to use my thumb for all the other buttons. Because my thumb's operating five buttons at once. My index finger is not operating any for uh, how obvious of a button it is. Don't see if you can play next attack. Look, I'll be, uh... I'm the only person who uses index finger to play games, though. I'm just gonna keep climbing. Keep climbing. Keep a going. Keep a going. I don't know where that's from. It's from that one, like, one of those, like, MGM cartoons. I know that. I think it's, like, it's a donkey or something. I remember I used to, uh... He used to say a lot. Uh, go up there. Go up there, Sly. Climb that shit. Am I failing climbing this? How am I failing at climbing at this shit? I really don't know what happens. I really don't. I, um... Don't use fast motion. There's a penalty to it, I guess. I guess it's like messed up and the uh, lava moved faster than it should have. I don't know. I have a lucky charm though. It's magically delicious. Hmm. I think it's like I don't know how this works. It's weird. This is probably what ruined it. This part right here always ruins it. God, this part's like unfair. There we are. That's more like it. Part is so cool. I don't know. It's the kind of thing like little kids like to see in games. Okay. Final battle: a strange reunion. Oh, this music! Oh, this is so classic. Sly Cooper, you have saved my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. Remarkable. You Coopers always find a way to beat me. Always? So that was you in the background of all those old pictures in the previous raccoons. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. 
I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting the day when I will finally eat your family's thieving medication. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! Okay, so this is a battle you do with Carmelita, basically. My intellect is with my experience is Oh, also, this is all, this option, these, um, this is, uh, controls. Binocucom, look down, turret. Jetpack has always been an option in here. Just gonna say that, the whole game has been an option. It spoils the game! It really does! So if you guys are wondering what I just did, though, I just, uh, turned off the inverted controls. Cause this is really hard with inverted controls. I don't care what you guys think. I cannot play games with inverted controls. Worth crap. I hate them. I'm so used to just generically pressing my buttons in the right direction. Oh, well, there's me pressing my buttons in inverted mode now. And the quarterback is toast! So much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world about your precious book. The Cooper line is nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. And the Cooper line will be erased, and the only master thief will be. Wait a second. Okay, my foot was weird. I don't know about you guys, but when I die in this game, game over. That wasn't what I was talking about, though. Um, what I was saying, though, was, uh, like, when I get home, I, I wear shoes for a long time for, like, school or whatever. Like, I get, like, like, my toes get weird, like, callused and all that. It's like, ugh. It's pain. It is really a pain. I don't like putting up with it. Also, there's a little animation he does when you hurt him enough. I like that. It's really respectable. It's a cool animation. Come on. Broke his wing. And the quarterback is toast again. Don't say the thing again. Good boy. Clockwork, you're really obedient. I'm just gonna say that. Also, this. These rings. You have to get through every single one of them. My you get the hang of it eventually, but, uh. As a little kid, this was really frustrating for me. I just could not get through these rings. person builds clockwork, by the way. They never explain that. Clockwork has been built, obviously, he's a robot. They never explain that in this game. I think they explain it in the second game, how he was built, but I'm not going to spoil that. I'm just going to ask, what the hell is up with clockwork? Who frick would build something like this? Don't answer that question in the comments below. Please don't answer that. That'd be spoilers. And I know the answer, but I'm just going to... That's certainly what anyone playing this game only would think. Oh, this is funny. Oh, this is really funny. Flowers. Gravity, really? Is that just the first word that comes to his mind? He just says anything he can because I broke him in his broke his speech processor, I guess. Together. Together. Okay. What if it's just something like, I fuck so many hoes, bitch? Clockwork. 
What was he gonna it say? It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, One. I felt bad leaving her stranded on a giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. And that's the end of the game. Well, not for us at least, because we still got those that last uh, vaults to open. Now I'm just gonna make a point saying I am not. And I repeat, not going to do the timed missions. I'm sorry if you were hoping for me to do this at the end. I'm not doing them. If you want videos of someone doing the time videos, the time levels, or bonuses, the bonus you get for doing the time levels, uh, just YouTube it. I mean, there are people who can do it. I'm not one of them. You know, I love this game. This is one of my favorite games, and I'm really good at it. But I'm not good enough to get those bonus missions done. I can't do them. They're incredibly unfair to a lot of people, and they are unfair to me, too. But, uh, I think I made it this far. And I'm, I'm happy we made it this far. I, I'm, I'm really... I'm feeling that this is the point where I need to actually freaking get off my ass and choose another LP. This LP, I just pulled this out of my ass, like, the last second when I finished Banjo-Kazooie. Literally. Like, I was just like, oh, screw this, I'm doing Sly Cooper. I couldn't get any good LPs going. I had a good Ocarina of Time one going, but I just like, screw that shit. But I promise the next LP will have a lot more planning behind it. And it's still January 10th. I recorded this entire game in one day. <laughs> Not two days. I recorded this, I literally recorded this entire game in three days. But, um, it's not a long game. It's a short LP. Uh, so as for my next LP, what am I planning? <laughs> it's a mystery. I'm not even going to spoil I don't even know, but I'm not going to spoil it once I know. <coughs> Looks like there's room for a sequel. I hate to tell you this, Sly, but the Phoebeus Raccoonus isn't fully restored. You're gonna have to go back and unlock all the vaults to find the pages you're missing. There is some good news, though. A friend of mine in Japan just sent me this really cool movie. And guess what? It's all about us! Uh, I guess we can show this real quick. No, we can't show this. It's entirely in some other language. I don't want to watch it. You guys want to watch it? I don't know. You can buy the game yourself or go to uh, YouTube and look up bonus cutscene of Sly Cooper. Now I'm going to go back to Duel by the Dragon. I'm going to get that one level I missed. It's entirely in Japanese, though. I don't want to watch a cutscene entirely in Japanese. I don't want to watch the bonus cutscene. I don't know why they couldn't just make an American translation for the cutscene. I really don't. That was a really stupid move there, Sucker Punch. But I see what they were doing. At least they say it's in Japanese before they do it. Freeze, raccoon! How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China. 
but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. What kind of justice is you're trying to feed me? I'm gonna look real quick and see where those, uh... Over there. I'm gonna find them. They're gonna be really obvious, aren't they? This is the last vault of the games. So this is, uh... This is it. This level last episode didn't we? Right over here, last ones. Last bottles in the game. And there's that. That's it. That's it. That's the last bottle of the game. I'm gonna try for anything fancy here. I'm just gonna finish this level. It's almost over. I don't care anymore. I really don't. I just wanna get this damn game over with. Cause I want to do. I really have other games I want to be doing right now. Not that this is a game I don't want to do. I said it before. I said it. Again, I'll say it again. This is like one of my favorite games. This is a really nostalgic game for me. But again, there's other LPs I'd like to be doing right now. I, I always have a f list of LPs that I want to be doing, and you know I really plan ahead with these LPs, and I really want to do those other LPs. And I need some suggestions. Actually, I'm getting to the point where I'm running out of LPs to do, but. I got ideas. I hate has all these ideas. And obviously it's not it's I'll just give you a clue guys, it's not Banjo Tooie and it's not Sly 2. So uh, don't get your hopes up for those two yet. Sly Cooper and Banjo Kazooie are on hold for a little while. They're gonna take a rest. The series is both gonna take a rest. Look at this whole level in fast motion by the way. Anyone else notice that? Just nonchalantly playing this level in fast motion like it is amazing. There we are. Last vault. Multiple blood vessels burst in my brain while figuring this out. The code had better be two three one. This better be two three one. It's the last one. Eighty three percent good enough. What we got here? Amazing! Colonel Reed Cooper's Time Stopper technique. Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. Okay. I really don't need it because I'm not gonna. At long last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the Fiendish Five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. This is gonna be fun. And if you guys didn't know, this whole game was basically Sly's, um... You've done it, Sly! The Thievius Raccoonus is complete! Now, try beating all the Master Thief sprints to unlock the Designer's commentary. Once you've unlocked them all, I've got a special behind-the-scenes movie to show you. And that's just kind of like the developers and stuff, how they made the game. I thought that would have been really cool to see as a kid, but nah, I can't do it. I can't get the missions done! I really would have loved to see the behind-the-scenes stuff as a kid, too. But I can always go on YouTube and watch it if I really care. But, um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this LP. And, um, I hope... You guys bear with me until I do the sequel. Now, um, what can I say now? Uh, I enjoyed this LP. It was really fun. Um, 
So, what's my next LP going to be? Not quite sure. Um, it's gonna be cool, though. I'm sure of that. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Hope you enjoyed. But yeah, I got all the powers, got all the shit. But yeah, like I was saying, this whole game, if you guys didn't know, this entire game, if you really think about it hard enough, this is Sly's recounter, like, re, re, recount, re, re, encount, I don't know what word you'd use. Rewriting of his past into the TVS Raccoonus. You never think about that, but it's true. And the other two games, it's the same. The other two games, he's rethinking re re everything, rewriting everything, it happened. But, uh, that's it. That's all we really need to worry about. Uh, I can't wait to do the sequel, but I'm going to do that, obviously, later. I'm going to wait, like, most, like a smart person would. I think my next game, hmm, I want to do another Nintendo 64 game, I'm pretty, pretty sure. But uh, I'm not quite certain what game I'll be doing. But... Yeah, hey, you guys might enjoy it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You guys will enjoy the LP anyways. I, th I thank you all for watching, and I hope you're all happy this time, because the Banjo-Kazooie, I did a long-ass at final episode. I at least did a decently-sized final episode for this game. So you guys owe me a cookie. It's just as long as all the other episodes. I I'm going to do this little extra ending stuff here, say goodbye. Um... I don't know what I'm going to play next. I, I think it's going to be a Nintendo 64 game. Don't count on that, though. But, uh, whatever it is, it'll be tomorrow. It'll come out. Um. Yeah, now i got to go into thinking what game I'm going to do. But, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this LP. I'm really sorry about what happened in Ms. Ruby's world, where I missed that one bottle. And I guess I can say I'm sorry about missing that one bottle in Panda King's world, too. But, um. Yeah, that that things like that won't be happening in the other LPs I do. I won't be missing things or losing things or I won't try to miss things or lose things, but I probably will. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's where I'd, uh, most people would call it quits. I'm just gonna say goodbye, and I will indeed see you in the next one.